three of the prep files um, we are in for pull today um, yesterday obviously with the gym's been reopened and stuff we just kind of recorded little bits and pieces didn't really kind of take the camera out too much afterwards because it was mad busy with work and stuff so just kind of wrapped it up after the, the push session but today um, as you can see we were up at the crack of dawn to get over and get uh, back into the PT side of things so we had five sessions wrapped up this morning, really, really good sessions, really enjoyed getting back into it. Um, was a little anxious at first going over, um, just to kind of get back into it, but we are back moving now and it's like we've never left. So at the moment, um, I'm just after pulling up outside Dave's house, going to get a pre-workout munch in um, and we're going to go and train pull then. So we're going to check out the, the new gym, uh, Extreme in Waterford, going to train pull there today. 
Um, I'm going to follow his program. Going to leave him take the lead and follow the program. Um, he's working with Kuba as well, so it'll be a very very similar setup as to what I'm normally used to. Um, when I go in, we will sit down, have a little chat. We might get a little prep catch up, um, see how things are going for him and myself, um, and then we will bring you through the session and give you a little look around the gym. So, story. We're What's back. good? What's good oh, oh. Hello. 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 <laughs> What's going, brother? Sorry. Just video prepping. So, gonna head to the store. What we got going on? We're uh, prepping meat. We're going in now. Chicken. 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 So two semi-fit people gonna go walk. Tiny sausage dog, just to help with the digestion of it. Because someone's behind on his meals, and even though invited me in for a pre-workout meal, is nowhere near ready for his pre-workout meal. So well, you were an hour and a half late. Come on. And that's even worse that you're still so far behind. <laughs> Oh, so it's just going to be two men walking around in oversized clothes, looking buff, with a tiny dog. <laughs> the dog. The vanilla JP way, when made into the paste, tastes like that. So there's going to be a slight change to the running. Um, I'm actually taking the lead from the session because Dave doesn't actually have a full workout at the minute. Um, he was supposed to be on push today, but we've made some changes. So we're going to run my program. Um, it's a first for both of us, because I haven't run my full program. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, Dave is also bringing his lovely Vibrams. Oh yeah. He's going to bring oh, the Vibrams. Geez. Give us a look. Wait, you see these things, these things. Oh, they match your outfit as well, the black and red and everything. Yeah. Color coordinated, look at those. I mean, look at those. It's how you pull bitches. <laughs> <laughs> He's also hooked up the pre-workout. With the MV Pre, he's given a solid rating on it, so we're going to see how that goes. Excuse me. Excuse me. But yeah, so slight slight change to the running, but we're going to get stuck in there. We get these in, and then we're good to go. So it's actually like a trip down memory lane. It's where myself and the boss man actually started, and the lockers are the exact same. Down to the fucking weigh-ins, guys. <laughs> in this case is the exact same one we hadn't been done but uh gym looks very nice looking forward to getting stuck in um, so we said today i made a boat 16 weeks out we are 16 weeks out so dave is over yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 15 weeks four days if it's the pca yeah. yeah perfect so dave is only back home from the uk so he is coached by kuba as well uh, and he was actually over with kuba for six weeks Seven weeks. Um, had plan on over for four. Yeah, four. And, four, and then ended up with six. So we're going to get a little bit of an insight to what Dave has picked up as well while he was over there. And um, because although it's great from an online setup, it is. I suppose there is only so much you can get from it. I'm sure I'm over there with him. It was completely different. So we will touch on a lot of it through the session if we can. But we are just going to be a little bit more fly on the wall get cracking it because we haven't trained together in a long, long time. Um, between fucking lockdowns, traveling, everything. So the gyms in Ireland have only opened yesterday. Um, so we're going to get cracking in on this. So we'll bring you through the warm up. And what in the actually God is going on here? So went to the UK and came back with those.
Yes, there we go. Full stretch, up. Leave that chest come up. Yeah, now scoop down. There we go, yeah, in. Oh yes. Finish, finish, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. So, we can pull it out here. You see that we've changed the setup slightly. So we've got our D-handles here, but we're the D-handle, but we're using Dave's to lift the It's to give us a better hand position. The handles here aren't great for the actual body when we're pulling down. So we just changed it to a little, a little bit more of a better arm pack. And then our aim when we're doing this, when we're sitting into it, with our elbow, we're just nearly drawing like the letter J. So it's a downer and a smooth back, rather than just a straight pull down. So we're just trying to line up to that a little bit more in terms of the body pack. So elbow, then into the hip, lift punch down on the obese when we're coming down.
first bicep exercise, we were spending two seconds in the contracted face, so the, the, the top of the bicep curl. Here, what we're doing is we're spending two seconds kind of down in the stretch position. Um, you can see Dave's arm position in that clip there. His body is nearly leaned forward, keeping his arm pulled back, allowing the bicep to fully stretch. And we're not moving that kind of shoulder when we're pulling up. We're simply just from the elbow, flexing up, squeezing up through the bicep. Again, I'm gonna get him to do one on the other side here and I'll kind of just point out the, the body position on it. So you can see Dave is kind of angled forward on it, shoulder stays absolutely steady there and we're just flexing from this elbow joint here. So there's no movement on it, it's just a full bicep contraction, two seconds in that stretch and then squeezing up through the top. Oh so that's a wrap on that session. So first two sessions done, back at it. Um, felt so good to be back even just the the buzz and the social aspect of training in the gym again is just lovely um, First two sessions again, we were only doing one set of everything um, Across the board not overdoing it just getting back into that kind of higher intensity of the, the training sessions um, And getting used to some of the movement patterns again same as I've pretty much programmed for absolutely everyone on the, the team just a slight reduction in in actual training volume to match recovery capabilities and then we will start to increase it as the, the week goes on um, but as for now I'm going to wrap this one up here we've got to go home get some food in get the rest of the client work done and then we are done for the evening back in the morning we've got a six o'clock start in the morning so we'll get up early get the cardio done and then crack on with the rest of the day but yeah I'm going to wrap this one up here if you haven't already Drop the video a like, hit the subscribe button, I think that's what they all say. And yeah, we will be back for episode 4, where we will have legs, I think, on the cards. Um, or possibly a session with Rachel, who hasn't been seen in a long, long time. So, peace out. We are done.